So basically, the meeting today, from what I seen, was a lot of people stood up. A lot of people, you know, there were a few people there that spoke and stuff that said, you know, oh, we don't want this. We we want this to be legally done. We want this to be, uh, you know, where people come here through the right process and stuff like that. This being a sanctuary state, just 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 off. It basically uh, takes us to a position where we have to worry about danger, our children, everything else, because we don't know these people coming in here. And they're right. We don't know these people coming in here. When you have countries like Venezuela that start emptying out prisons and stuff like that because they don't have the funding, they don't have the means to take care of the prisoners, they don't just sentence them to death and just kill them. They let them go. And they're in our streets now. They're, they're out here on the streets with us, and we don't know who they are. A lot of them are drug dealers and rapists and gangbangers and stuff, but a lot of them are families as well. Does that still change my mind? Uh, because I know that there's families and there's kids and stuff that are with these people and that we should just take care of every single person that has blood flowing through their body because that's what human beings do. Unfortunately, the reality is life doesn't work that way. You, It's survival of the fittest. And no, come here legally. That's it. Come here through the front door with the legal process just like everybody else. You don't get any special treatment. You shouldn't be fast-tracked through a six-month or a th three-month program to get you situated here when people have been sitting here for 15, 20, 30 years still don't have citizenship. It's absolutely correct that that is not okay for that stuff to happen. And there's the majority of people here, they, uh, they don't want it. They don't want these people here. Um, it's not that we don't care about them. We just don't want it here. And now guess what? Stuff like that building right there with the for rent sign popping up all over the place. Buildings that don't have um, people and stuff living there that are vacant and stuff like that. Owners of those buildings that didn't know what they were going to do with it are now putting rental signs up all over the place so they can entice people, organizations, to let them know that this building is for rent. If you want to build your, uh, your city contract and stuff here, I know I'm guaranteed my money. We can put these people inside this warehouse and uh, retrofit it to make it suit their needs and stuff like that. Right here in Brighton Park. And uh, we can get them taken care of and I can make my government money. You know, unfortunately, today it, it was shut down and the, the mayor's goons basically said, Nope, we're going to shut it down. We're not going to let anybody vote on this or anything like that. Uh, we're not interested in talking about the change of the sanctuary city status or anything right now. It's just, it's going to be what it is. So basically, you guys wasted your time coming here. We don't want to hear. Even though they got to say some things, we're not voting on it. We're not, we don't care. We don't care what you say, what you want to say. We're going to do what we got to do anyway. And uh, that's just that, which is pretty sad. Because this is the first, this is the person that y'all put in place just because he was a black man and because he was on the school board and because you guys felt comfortable and thought, this is the, this is the power, man. We need to put... And it turned out that that was not the case. He was just a thug before he came in. Just a crooked union, uh, teacher's union person. And, and you know, at the end of the day, in all reality, it's all he's ever going to be. Uh, so, you know, you guys, here, we're dealing with it now. And uh, I don't know what else is going to happen. I don't know what else. You know, I'm going to reach out to some people and see what their perspective was at the meeting. But from everything that I see and the story and stuff... Uh, that's on Fox News and hearing the people talk a lot of people are tired of it and they don't want it anymore but basically the way they put it was uh, Johnson and his goons are going to do what they have to do to uh, make themselves feel comfortable and shut down any type of voting or anybody else's voice because that would make them look bad if they allow them to speak and they see how many people are against it versus how many are for it so let me explain to you exactly what happened. They were supposed to vote on whether or not they were willing to re consider making Illinois, making Chicago not a sanctuary city. But the place was packed with predominantly people that are undocumented. So the voices were not as strong uh, with people that were our, our native uh, Illinois people. So there were several people there that voiced themselves about how they felt that they were not for sanctuary cities. Uh, there was a man there. He was an elderly gentleman. I think he's in his mid-80s. And he was like, black slaves built this country. Why would I be okay with bringing somebody else into this country 
letting them jump the line before us and our communities and our children getting taken care of and pulling out of the mouths and the education of our children to give to them. I'm not okay with that. There was another lady there as well. She's a friend of mine. She spoke there. Very, very, very powerful. Also, same thing. She said, if I, uh, basically, if, it, if I have to call it, I'm not for this being a sanctuary city. There are too many, there's too much crime. There's way too much stuff going on right now that doesn't make any sense. There's, there's way too much uncertainty and lack of safety and stuff in our neighborhoods. It's, it's something that I don't want for anybody. Where's the money and stuff that was promised to the black community that never made it to the black community? Where's the aid and care and the structure that was supposed to be brought to these areas that need it that was never brought there? But instead, you guys will choose to give it to somebody else, put it into another community that's not even from the United States. So why would I be okay with that? So she says, I vote no. There were several people that were just flat out no. But the majority of this, this room was packed with people that are undocumented immigrants or people that work with businesses that assist undocumented immigrants. That's how they make their money. So of course, naturally, there was an overwhelming support to keep it as a sanctuary city than rather get rid of it. I love the fact that my friend, she stood there and she said, isn't it ironic basically, the day you come into office, you already have something drawn up so you can swear in as, as some kind of law, some kind of memorandum, some kind of this is what's going to be done. The day you come in, you already have something drawn up that you can sign. Seems like seems like a pretty snaky thing to do. But here we are supporting you while all these people on the street, these homeless veterans, homeless people and stuff in general, they don't get the care and the aid and stuff that we need, but you're willing to give it to illegals that come here and put them before us. So basically they shut it down. They shut down any voting to get rid of the sanctuary status because what would happen if you do get rid of the sanctuary status here? That would open up the rules and the laws and everything back to the way it was before and all these people that are here illegally, regardless if they came here from prior or, um, you know, they've been here for years or these new people all have to worry about the police and ICE and deportation and stuff now. So all the people that are fighting against this very thing basically here's what our governor and our mayor has done and our some of our aldermen and stuff have done they have twisted it and said oh you don't want the migrants here the illegals here well maybe we should think about getting rid of the sanctuary status so if we get rid of the sanctuary status we can get rid of those people but guess what happens in the process? All of you that are protesting against them and want them out of your neighborhoods and stuff like that, all your neighbors that you love, that you've grown up with for years, that are undocumented, that have been paying, that are not here legally, that have been contributing to their neighborhoods and the businesses, bye-bye. You get a chance to go as well. You really want to end Illinois as a sanctuary city? So... All of the people basically was like, oh, well, wait, wait a second. No, that's not. No, no, I, I don't want my friends. And I, I, I don't want my neighbor and I don't want my. No. Well, then if that's the case, then we then why should we get rid of these people that were busing in here? They're they're illegal just like you are. They don't have no documents just like you do. Why should we do that? I mean, maybe we shouldn't vote on it then. And they did. They know exactly what they're doing. They're playing games. They're trying to get people riled up. They're trying to get people angry, furious, evil. They're trying to really, really, really crush the relationships between people here now and start some pretty serious issues between us and our communities. You know what? If that's what they want, I got news for Mr. Johnson. I'm ready for it. If you really think that's what you want and you want to continue to play these games, I'm ready for it. Play ball. Y'all have a great night.